bevo.com. Let me put it this way. Uh, it all started with product and product-driven organizations. Uh, love the product. And then we moved to uh, service. We realized that it's not enough to sell something. We have to back it up with good service. And a lot of new literature came out on services marketing. Not only services marketing for hard physical products, but also uh, services marketing for uh, intangible, for firm selling intangible services like uh, the hotel and the airline and so on, which disappear after they're over. Um, but we went from services marketing more recently to what we call experiential marketing or experience marketing, where we said it's not enough for a bank to have a, a set of services, namely a line and maybe maybe even a coffee uh, and a tray with some apples. What's the experience of being in the bank? Do you feel like you're in a Greek temple and you must behave and, and, and stand like a good citizen in line? Is this a, like a living room? What, what is the uh, context and the atmospherics of the place that you, you bring your customers? How, do they feel good? Is there any uh, trust and liking and other emotions coming in that relationship you're trying to form with the customer. So we call that really a design problem. You design the feeling of the airplane inside, you design the hotel. To, it, it, so we might even call that marketing aesthetics uh, broadly. In fact, there's a lot of talk about we overuse two senses of the five senses. We overuse uh, visual and, and audio. Um, how about the sense of touch, the sense of uh, of kinestics, kinestics and so on and so forth. Uh, that is, let's touch a customer in more than one way or two ways. Philip, I understand that at one, one point a CEO came up to you with a book and you refused to sign it because it wasn't up to date. Is that because you were trying to upsell and sell more books? Uh, yes, well, let me put it uh, this way. I was at a seminar and the CEO of a company came up to me and um, said, could you sign uh, your book for me? I said, of course, I always signed the book. I looked at the book and I said, uh, wait, that's the first one I wrote. That's in 1967. It's called Marketing Management. And um, I don't think I can sign it. And he said, uh, but I use it. You use it? And did you find the chapter on the Internet uh, very useful? He says, well, <laughs> there was no chapter on the Internet then. And I said, what about the concepts of uh, customer lifetime value, brand equity, customer equity? Are you making a lot of use of those and measuring those things? I mean, like, is your uh, brand equity growing or flat or declining? He says, well, I don't think those terms were in the book. I, I, then he said, are you trying to get me to buy a new copy? And I said, uh, yes, uh, but not because I need your money. Uh, it's because uh, the 13th edition, uh, and I put a new edition out every three years, uh, has so much more that you need in, the, in this whole changed marketing market space and place uh, that you, you, you've really got to do. Now, after saying that to him, I signed the book. <laughs> I use it as a, a kind of a tease and a lesson. Bevo.